Hi, this is Charles from MTG and Me. The video you're about to see was filmed in the fall of 2018 as part of Creators Series 3, in which I was a late entry to the competition. So keep that in mind as you watch the video. Unfortunately, the ambitious Series 3 did not get executed as planned. However, as a group of competitors, we decided it would be best to release our videos regardless. Please check out the other competitors for Creator Series 3. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching. MTG and me, this is Charles. It's been about a year since Wedge from the Mana Source has released an episode of the worst cards in Magic. And now I can understand why. When I started this project, I really thought it would be fun. But now that I've gotten into it, I get it. I really do. What is the fascination with these cards? They're bad cards. They're terrible. They're often so narrow that nobody should play them in any deck. And sometimes they never should have even been designed. Nevertheless, I'm going to give it a shot. So I present to you three of the worst cards in Magic the Gathering history. All right, let's go. Okay, okay, I'm already cheating a bit because the first is actually a cycle of cards, the fixing lands from Homelands. Starting with Anhava Township, Ace and Abbey, Castle Sengir, Koskin Keep, and Wizard School. These cards all have two things going for them. They tap for three types of mana, sort of, and they're uncommon. Well, Wizard School and Castle Sengir kind of sound neat, they have decent names, and I guess you could lump in the art as a positive if you're a fan of that sort of thing. But what don't they have going for them? Try usefulness, playability, each of these taps for colorless mana, but then you need to spend one mana and tap the land to fix their primary color, and tap two mana to fix for their splash. Mana in Magic is a resource. It's incredibly expensive to try using these when just about anything would be better. Heck, a tap land entering, a dual tap land would be better. Not that these cards are expensive cash wise, no, they're dirt cheap and they see virtually no play. Which should tell you something. It's almost as though these lands are literally siphoning the life force from your body. So sorry about that. It's been about two weeks. I'm back from the hospital. I'm all patched up. Fresh transfusion and all. Thanks, Castle Sangir. Word to the wise, avoid playing the Homeland's land cycle. And in that vein, let's move on to our next card. Oh hey, still here, still cheating, and I'm ashamed. Totally. There's a lot of stigma associated with being a cheater of any kind in the Magic the Gathering community. Still, it's best to just admit it, accept the consequences, and move on. But I digress, because the next worst card in Magic is actually two nearly identical, incredibly narrow to the point of general uselessness cards. Root Cage and Brutal Suppression. Once again, sorry in advance. In the interest of full disclosure, I've never played Prophecy Unlimited. One can only assume and speculate that these might have seen play in Draft or Sealed as a subtype specific poser. But what do you do with these cards afterwards? I guess if your friends are playing a Mercenary or Tribal Rebels EDH deck, you could build these into a hate deck. But let's be honest, those decks are probably bad anyway as well. And if you do that, you probably didn't want any friends. With all that being said, there isn't much more to add. So I'm just going to stand here, avoiding eye contact, and contemplate my life choices. Last up, we have Bargain, something it certainly is not. This Portal 2 Kingdom card is a 3 mana sorcery speed effect that gains U7 life at the cost of providing your opponent with some, and I say some, card advantage. If you're ahead, you'd never play this card. If you're behind, 
This might buy you at best an extra turn, at the cost of essentially fueling the fire burning under your feet. So not only do you end up two for one yourself with this, even in a multiplayer game, there has to be a better way to make friends. Which you probably have none of, because you tried playing Root Cage and Brutal Suppression against your former friend's EDH decks. Sure, the art is weird, so that's something. But this card, say it with me, is not good. So that about wraps it up. Thankfully, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more of them, you might have to go somewhere else because I'm done. I'm done scouring the internet for the worst cards in Magic, I'm done talking about them, and I feel spent. Then again, Wedge hasn't done one of these in nearly a year, so maybe he'd like to hear from his fans when the next one is coming out. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go do something more productive, like lose a few games of MTG Arena, or sort some cards, or sleep, or something. But not this. Anything but this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can help us by clicking that like button and leaving a comment. And to support the channel, please click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching!